I'm, it's already started. I can't look, guys. I know that this is gave me a lot of views, and I'm okay with it. Obviously, I can't stop watching her videos now. Like I can't stop analyzing every single video that Micah does. I literally have two I want to do this tonight, like tonight before Halloween hits. I got my full lid Friday tomorrow. I'm gonna to react to another video tomorrow, not of Micah's another video. I can't stop. I, I have a problem. I'm addicted to analyzing Micah's videos and just. It makes me happy, not because I feel like, it's not making me happy because I feel like I'm making fun of somebody, but because of the absurdity of everything she does is mind-blowing to me. So here we go, today's video is seven things you don't know about Micah, but she's going to tell you anyway. I'll <laughs> hear the Dad Challenge Podcast. Oh my gosh, like I just, people have been sending me videos non-stop. I love it, don't ever stop, please. Guys, ever, don't ever stop. <laughs> like there's, I don't know how many videos she has. Like I think we have to take a look. Let's take a quick look at how many videos has, how many videos Micah has on her channel, specifically. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna go to videos. She has, how many videos does she have? I don't even know. How many videos? What is it, Sh show him videos she has? I don't know how many videos she has. Like, we're talking hundreds. I'm not doing math, so we're not doing math. Anyway, I'm gonna be busy this weekend, so I gotta give, I'm gonna give you guys as many as you can handle before we go, because <laughs> I gotta hang out with my kids this weekend. It's Halloween, it's my favorite time of year. We're going trick-or-treating, we're getting, we're carving pumpkins. I'm carving this weekend out to just really, really refocus into my family, because Halloween is a big deal at the Barber household, okay? I can't miss it, my, my kids will kill me, okay? Not like I'm missing things, but this is really important to us. So I'm gonna get a couple of these right off the top. I have so many I wanna do. So there's never gonna be a shortage of these videos of me reacting to Micah's videos. Never ever gonna be a shortage. So that being said, tomorrow's full lead. I'm gonna finish that off and then we get a Halloween of the weekend and I'm doing some, I think I'm heading up to see Mark next week. So we're gonna do some videos. I'm excited. I'm really, really pumped. Before we get started, everybody, you know the rules. I will cast the haunted wooden spoon on you. If you do not go, follow me on Instagram. My goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers or follows or whatever you call it because I want to be able to post links. But someone has been reaching out and saying there's ways I can do it, but it sounds really complicated. I know one way is to get 10,000 followers. Also, if I grow that channel, then I can do more stuff, which is awesome. So help me grow my Instagram by heading over there right now. If you like me, you'll subscribe because I, I post stuff over there too. I post videos and I do things, Snapchat filters and fun stuff. So head over there, like me on Instagram or whatever you call it. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to the seven things you don't want to know about Micah, but she's going to tell you anyway. Let's get right to it. I'm excited. I have not watched this yet. That's why I'm excited. Today I'm going to share with you seven things you don't know about me. And I'm sure that you do not. Um there's lots we don't know about you. Like the truth of everything, because you're a liar. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and like- Can you consider bringing down the aperture on your camera for the love? I know I talk about this every day. It bothers me. I get that you're trying to hide the wrinkles. She doesn't have, maybe she does, I don't know. Is the point, someone said that they, they overblow the face so you, it looks flawless, which is just another way of being fake but it looks ridiculous. You don't have facial features. I would like, when I'm speaking or looking at somebody, to see your facial features, okay? Maybe you can do that here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like to you guys. Ready? Let's do this. Hi everybody, welcome to the Dad Shunge Podcast. Today I'm gonna to tell you things you need to know about me. Can you see me? See the nostrils? That's, that's what I'm seeing, Micah. Can you chill just for a second, please? Let me get this down to the right level here. Is that where it was? Okay, cool. That's what it looks like. That's how ridiculous you are. So I just wanted to point that out first. You're not fooling anybody there. It literally, it's like they are like they're staring. It's like the sun came over for a visit. Like, hey, what's up? You're like, let's we're gonna do a vlog. Are you sticking around? Let's just let's do this. It's like they're staring at a globe of light. Let me know in the comments below what is one thing about you that not very many people know about. Challenge accepted. One thing many people don't know about me is that I absolutely abhor the Stoffers. And it is my life's mission to get justice for H. So if you didn't know that about me, now you know. I would love to read those comments to get to know you guys just a little bit better and just to hear what some of your juicy details are. My very first thing that not very many people know about me is- I think you said nobody knows. 
Now you're saying not very many people? Which is it? Flaky person. That I was diagnosed with ADD as a kid and I have taken Adderall or Ritalin for the longest time. I was so embarrassed about it and it was something that I could never tell anyone. Why? That's stupid. I have ADD, I take medicine for it. It actually makes my life way easier, more manageable. If I actually, I didn't get diagnosed f f with ADD until I was 30 something, like 35 years old or something like that, insane. And it, I, it changed my life when I figured out how I could overcome it. I wish I had that in school. Maybe I would have not been a total douchebag in school. I don't know, let's see. Just saying, nothing to be ashamed of if you're out there. Don't listen to her, nothing to be ashamed of. And in college, I dated a super big hippie. He was a hardcore hippie, he was totally awesome. But one night we got into a huge fight and he told me that I needed to get rid of taking any- Surprise to freaking surprise. You got in a huge fight with somebody, a hippie? You date, like, I, I, we lost track of how I would love to know the notches on Micah's belt. How many guys she's actually dated. There has gotta be a guy out there who's watching these videos that she dated, who's just laughing, who's like, thank God I dodged that bullet. If you're watching this video and you're a guy that has dated Micah, please reach out to me. I would love the inside scoop on what it's like to date her for reals from somebody who had to do that. Please reach out to me whatsoever and I pretty much told him like I need these to function I'm in nursing school what do you mean I can't stop taking these it was just a huge blown fight it was a blown fight should I I mean it's like kicking a baby let's just move on anyways I wanted to prove to him and prove this big massive point that he was wrong so I said you know what I'm gonna go three weeks and not take these pills I got off the pills and I've never taken them ever since. So he was right. <laughs> See, I wanted to prove him wrong, so I got off the medicine the doctors gave me to help me, and he was right. What an idiot. Because I started to think clear, and I just realized that I really didn't need the pills. It was the weirdest thing. I don't know if I ever had ADD in the beginning, maybe I had too much energy as a kid that I just needed to run off, or if I had outgrown it, or whatever it was. But um, like I said, for the longest time, I was so ashamed and embarrassed of it, and now I'm like, I don't know if I have it or not, but I embrace, I embrace the fact that it was part of my life. So it was a really cool experience because I had relied and felt so dependent on that medicine for the longest time, and then once I stopped taking it, and realized I could function even better. It was just, it was a really cool experience, a really cool experience. I don't believe you for one minute. In high school, I got the worst grades humanly possible. I do believe that. I believe that. I was considered the biggest social butterfly. Like on my report cards, it would say, she's a social butterfly. <laughs> Could you imagine? If my kid brings home a, a, a report card and I open it and it's failing grades, but was a social butterfly, that kid's grounded forever. She's like, <laughs> what kind of teacher writes on a report card? Failure, but a social butterfly. <laughs> this, is, this is Micah's MO, okay? Taking something super negative in her life, her, a failure of hers or whatever it is, a, a shortcoming, and saying, but they, you know, but this, and like, but that, and then, but they were saying you're a social butterfly instead. <laughs> You're not a social butterfly, you are a narcissistic butterfly. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I love chatting, I like butterflies. Kind of like an airhead thing to say, but. <laughs> nope, no buts. That's the end of the sentence. Um, and, you know, I didn't do very good in high school. Honestly, I am surprised I even made it through high school. I graduated like a 2.2, it was super bad. And then I went to college, I told myself, um, all of my friends went to these really nice universities that were really hard to get into and I got into one that kind of just accepted everybody and I wanted I mean Yeah They shouldn't have accepted you. Become a nurse and I was like if I want to become a nurse I have to get really good grades in order to be accepted into that program So I pushed myself and I was dating a guy at the time why is everything that Micah does connected to who she was dating at the time? Is anybody seeing this pattern with me? It's all about, it's like the pivotal moments in her life, the big decisions that were ever made, okay? Every super ma massive decision up to this point. Remember, when she was 16, found out her father wasn't her father, so she went and got laid and lost her virginity to the, the most popular kid in high school. 
The second story she tells is she gets to university and she has a massive fight with a boyfriend and the boyfriend says, stop taking your medicine. So she stops taking her medicine. Now, I'd love to hear what this next boyfriend's gonna do for her. Incredibly smart. And he actually taught me how to study. He went to a different university at the time and we would sit on the phone for hours and he would teach me how to create flashcards, how, like, and I know it sounds really no brainer. Like, obviously I should know how to study, but I was, was such a screw off in high school. <laughs> God, she was a screw off. <laughs> I would just like to say this Micah's teachers, you failed her. She does, she is literally, she, I, she is Ricky from the Trailer Park Boys. There are so many Micah isms. I can make so, I can make so many t shirts for the Micah isms. I really need to watch every single video she's ever made, and I'm going to make an entire video of Micah isms because they are the best part of this whole experience of putting them out in the public, making sure that everybody knows who they are, because she's straight up the dumbest person on YouTube. Like, dumber than Jake Paul. Like, I'm. she should have married Jake Paul. I'm not even joking. I was such a screw off in high school that I just didn't know how to study because I never studied. Like, honestly, when I would take a test in high school, I'd be like, A, B, C, and that would be it. Like, honestly, I would guess. I didn't even care, I didn't take it. Um, if your answer was A, B, C to everything, no wonder you failed. I don't get what she what she's trying to say here. What is she trying to say? Like, is she talking about like multiple choice? I, I you imagine being a teacher and getting back this paper that like the end of the year reported just says ABC on it? Like, this person needs to be in an institution. How did they get to grade eleven? I don't understand how this person got here. How do you even get there? The school system has failed this person. 100%. Seriously at all. And then in college, for my first three years in college, I got a 4.0. I got accepted into the nursing program, and I did so good. I just pushed myself. Look at this. I want you guys to point something out. Whenever she lies, she stops looking at the camera and then does this with her hair. This is really, 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 really interesting. I've noticed this about a lot of her videos. When she's apologizing, when she's saying, when she did her uh, Draw My Life video, every time she made up a farce or padded the truth or lied by omission or whatever it is, she does this exact thing. She don't invite Micah over for poker. High stakes, because you're going to win every single time. Watch her for the rest of this video and every video you ever see her in. This is important. When she's talking about herself, she strokes her hair and she doesn't look at the camera. And it was really cool to see, like, if you put your mind to anything, you can make it happen. Even though in reality, I was never, like, a naturally smart kid. I never tried. So that was something that not very many people know about me. Another thing that not very many people know about me is I was offered a $10,000 scholarship to move to New York City to start modeling in my college career, and I actually ended up declining it. That was... Maybe you should have done that. I mean, that's the world you belong in. The world of narcissists, people who love themselves so much that they pay me to take pictures of me. That's where she should have gone. None of this could have happened if she just went to New York for $10,000. First of all, where are you going to live in New York for $10,000? dollars you are going to live in the sewer with the Ninja Turtles? Ten thousand, like that. She makes that sound all impressive. Look, $10,000 in New York gets you a piece of pizza and a coffee, and then you live in the streets. That's where you live in the streets. Homeless people make $10,000, and it's like, this. what am I going to do with this? That's... That's how much $10,000 does in New York City. <laughs> I spoke with a lot of people who... Again, she did the hair thing. She did the hair thing. ...not only family members, but also some really big role models to me. And they all encouraged me to continue with my nursing degree, which I'm super happy that I did. <laughs> because it's been so useful to you up to this point. Right? Right? No, you failed as a nurse too. So I got into a huge fight with this girl and I was actually not allowed to go to the big DC trip. I don't know if your guys' high school has that big DC trip where every year you like drive to DC and you get to see all the monuments get a stuff like that. But I was actually disinvited because I had gotten into such a bad fight. And <laughs> Here's how this went down. She got in a fight because apparently she does get into fights. This, okay, look, we know that Micah uh, attacked another nurse with a cart at her job. There is a person that I'm just really, really almost, we just haven't been able to connect that worked with her that is going to corroborate all of this about how, uh, what a trashy nurse she was, about how many times she made mistakes and all this craziness. We know that she got in a fight. She, we know that she's hot headed. So everything she shows on here is fake. She just said, I got in a fight at school and was disinvited. No, <laughs> it's not like a principal. Okay, we're just going to. 
Micah, you've been in a fight, so you are now disinvited. No, you got punished and you weren't allowed to go. Not disinvited, you weren't allowed to go. Straight up, you were trash. World Star Hip Hop was filming and you got caught. The thing that people don't know about me is that if I did not go to school to become a nurse, I would have went to school to become a culinary chef. I would have. Fried lettuce. In Chicago or New York because I love food and I love to cook. Cooking does not love you. Um, the culinary arts are not for you. Although, I mean, if you, you can be taught anything. But if we know anything about Micah, she can't be taught anything. She got a 4.0 in college and this is who we're... There's no way that that's the truth. I would pay someone to find her records at school. I wonder if that's a public, it's probably not public. I'm just saying, oh my gosh, she's a liar. Culinary school, sure, you might've went to culinary school, but you would've failed that too, because people have been like, uh, no, you're not supposed to fry the lettuce. That's not, no, no, no raisins, no frying lettuce. What is this? Is this a brownie in a mug? You fail. Another thing not very many people know about me is that I've always wanted to join the Peace Corps. <laughs> this is the shortest one. Another thing no one knows about me is that I, I am very generous. Then one thing you don't know about me is that I like to save kittens from sewers. One thing you don't know about me is I like to, um, you know, save puppies and then rehome them. Thing that not very many people know about me is I actually had two pet snakes in college. That's four. Um, I did this big long thing where I wanted to overcome silly and petty fears that I personally had. And one of my biggest fears is I'm afraid of snakes. Australian fans, let's be real. That is not a silly and petty fear, okay? Snakes could kill your ass. A, a silly and petty fear is like someone who's scared of like somebody's nose hair, something weird like that. So let's, don't listen to Micah. If you have a, if you have a fear of, of snakes, that's a healthy fear. They could kill you, okay? My wife is so scared of spiders that if I kill a spider, I get like gifts of flesh. I get it. That's not a silly fear. You can literally die from snakes. So in order to kind of conquer that fear, and it sounds like so weird, like such a college thing to do, I don't know, but um, I actually- Well, I went to college and I didn't be like, and I wasn't like, hey, what silly fear should I get over? I used to have a, f a fear of heights. I didn't go to college and be like, I'm just gonna, we're, we're, I'm just gonna live up, you know, this 40 foot ladder for the whole semester because I need to overcome the silly fear. This is dumb. Whose college experience has ever been, I'm going to college to overcome a fear? two pet snakes one i bought one first and then i bought another one and i would hold them you bought one first and then you bought another one that's amazing your math skills incredible you bought one then you bought another one and that's how you got the two wow let me just i gotta put that here i gotta log it logging it logging it got it thank you like during like if i was studying i would have them like wrapped around my finger they were little corn snakes but it was so cool to like overcome your fear and to not be afraid of something so little anymore i remember i had one of the snakes and he had a little design on his forehead and i would have like friends come over and they would always say that the design kind of looked like a penis 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 and I was, I was so mad because I was like, you can't say that to somebody and then not think of it forever. Do you know what I mean? It kind of like ruins that for you. She rehomed the snakes. Is that what? She rehomed the snakes because they had a penis head. I've never, ever, ever seen, I've come close to anybody like this before. Has, do you know somebody like this? But um, people definitely thought I was weird. Like if I brought a guy over and he's like, oh, you have a pet. Oh, surprise, surprise. They're bringing over guys. We know. And then what major decision did you make at that point in your life? Mike's like, I need to make a decision. I've got this major decision to make in my life. Should I go modeling? Should I go culinary school? Or should I go to nursing and look for a doctor husband? I need to find a guy to sleep with first and then, then I'll make the decision. Instead of like, you know, people will shake up an eight ball and be like, magic eight ball, what should I do? Micah then goes and sleeps with somebody and says, what should I do? And that guy's like, uh, this is a Wendy's. That's the kind of guy that's like, oh, I just gotta go to the bathroom. I'll tell you in a minute. And then he like jumps out the window. That's the guy. It's usually the way around. The girl kind of takes off. This guy's like putting his jeans on. What did I do? What did I do? And he's trying to like put on really quietly so you don't you don't hear the belt buckle. He's like, I gotta get out of here. He's like, this this chick is crazy, crazy. Please tell me 
the condom didn't break. Snake? That's weird. Um, but anyways, those are seven things that you guys do not know about me. Let me know in the comments below what shocked you the most. Thumbs up if you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. No. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. It's mind blowing to me because I'm like, when you're sitting around looking for content, she's obviously thinking, she, what she does is she watches another channel who does this, right? She watches all the other family vloggers who are more popular than her. They do these same videos. Then she goes, and I'm gonna tell you seven things you don't know about me. Which are the seven dumbest things I've ever heard about anybody else? I wanna hear your secrets. Tell me your deepest, darkest secrets, okay? Let's be real and raw. Not that you had a snake that had a penis head on it, okay? I wanna know some stuff. This st And plus, it's all lies to begin with anyway, Just and it shows that she just rehomed animals anyway. This is the type, the, the type of person she is really, really pisses me off because she is that type of person, and I know this type of person, that will adopt animals and dogs, cats, and everything else and just get rid of them because it's not convenient. They're like the person that, the least of the people that should have these things. And so adopting a human child was absolutely the worst thing this person could have done. The absolute worst worst thing for the history of what she does and how she makes decisions it's just there's not enough background checks on these types of people who are adopting kids there needs to be more if anything that this has brought to light is that please don't let these people you need to take an enneagram or a disc profile whatever it is and if it comes up that you're like on micah's level for for this type of person you should never be allowed to adopt i'm sorry you should you should have to like I don't know, just the, the rehoming that this person has done for snakes and dogs and cats and everything else is mind blowing to me. That's, and then a human. Like there's just such a pattern of weirdness in this person. So anyway, <sighs> Micah didn't get good grades. Are we surprised? No, we're not surprised. She went to college and she got 4.0s. Sorry. I might say the quiet part out loud right now, but it wouldn't surprise me if Micah was one of those students who had a relationship with her TAs or professors. I just, it would not surprise me because it then puts her, it, it gets her an opportunity to use her looks and her sexuality and whatever else to get the thing that she wants. And we all know that's Micah's MO is regardless of how she works. It's all about sex to get, a, you know, to trap a guy, right. To, to have a baby, to get, to, to find a guy that's going to be well off. And we know that for a fact from the people I interviewed that, Hey, I'm not even gonna have to be a nurse anymore. Cause he's gonna be making bank. She know this is what her whole MO is. So again, I'm going to say the quiet part out loud and I, I could be completely wrong about this. And this is all conjecture. There's no way this person got 4.0 in college, unless either money exchange hands or favors exchange hands. That's all I'm saying. I know that sounds kind of gross and chachi, but I am, that's why I'm saying the quiet part aloud. I'm just, I have to say it because there's just no way. She was a screw off in high school, <laughs> okay? She just doesn't, it's just too much unintelligence in this person that it's mind blowing that she would ever get 4.0s. I am not a smart person, okay? I did not get good grades. It's because obviously at ADD and it was unchecked and everything else. And the way that they teach kids, we can have a whole conversation on how people should be teaching kids these days. And I do believe that there's really great ways you can start teaching kids, but that's a whole other world. I'm just saying she's just so fake. And the things that she tells us are complete lies. And don't forget the hair strokes when she's lying and doesn't look at the camera. She just, she's a dead giveaway for every time she's lying. Anyway, this one was just, it wasn't interesting at all, but it was interesting from a psychological perspective and just again, reiterates how dumb she is so that we can continue to, you know, be right at all times. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to have another one. Hopefully tonight we'll see. And I got full lid Friday tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. Um, Make sure you like me on Instagram, head down below. I've got this whole store of t-shirts that are like dope AF, okay? Really cool shirts. I love dad bods, not my jam. You got uh, chachi shirts. You got lots of cool stuff down there. Stickers and bags and fanny packs and tights. Really cool stuff. And it really helps me if you support me by buying one of those items from there. I also have an Amazon wish list full of stuff. And my birthday's coming up November 30th and I need a sort of omen to go with my haunted wooden spoon. If you don't know what the sort of omen is, you didn't grow up in the 80s like I did watching cartoons eating cereal. This would be a good cereal spoon. Anyway, there has been a lot of people commenting that their birthday is also November 30th. So that is amazing. If your birthday is November 30th, like my birthday, hook, tell me about it. I'm going to send you some Canadian treats for your birthday because that's what we're about here. We are about that. So guys, I hope that your day is amazing. I hope that Thursday presents itself to be like the day you win the lottery and you share it with me that when you get home, your kids are like, you know, chilling, watching her iPad. Nobody's screaming. You can have a poop in silence. You know, dinner's made. Your husband's doing the dishes. Like <laughs> I hope all that stuff for you. It's not going to happen. Let's be real. But I just, I hope it for you. Sometimes if I, I hope it. And then I, th I feel good that I said that thing. And I'm like, 
they probably won't get it, but at least I said it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the Dad Challenge podcast. I will see you tomorrow for Full Lid Friday. Happy almost Halloween, by the way, and it's, you know, it's the sluttiest time of the year, and I'm so excited about it. Oh, 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 o